What are those? <sighs> yeah, yeah. What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the U-verse? Thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of your guys' views and all of your subs, man. It's just amazing how much this channel is, uh, has grown. I know it's only, it's only four digits. It's only just into the thousand, but you know, for me, that's just awe-inspiring. Um, but today we are building on the Aprilia Tuono factory. This bike right here, 2018. As Snap Z suggested a name, he came out with uh, the Empress. I kind of like that. You know, du Duchess was a Ducati. The Aprilia is just one step up from that. And uh, I think the Empress fits. So I'm gonna play around with that for a little bit, see if, uh, see if the name definitely sticks. But today, I finally have a solution. The, the parts have finally arrived. I finally have a solution to these binnacle turn signals that so many of, of the bikes have and so many options on other bikes where we can do a flush mount. As of yet, there really aren't many options on the Aprilia, but there's one that I think is absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to show you guys. You know, I played around with the idea of doing the Proton 500s like I did on the Baby Z. If you guys haven't seen, go ahead and check out that build up in the right. I'll put a link to that build in that. And uh, Proton 500s are awesome for a stunt bike, for a hoon bike. They're really thin, they're really flush, and they're extremely bright. And I kind of like the, uh, I like the patterns that you can do with them, the different programmability. But it didn't really fit the Empress. Uh, it didn't really fit the character. I saw, these, which are sequential LEDs, allegedly, on uh, Gadget Locker, which, you know, is all over Instagram. If you guys, you know, if, you, if you've got an Instagram account, which I'm sure most of you guys do, um, go ahead and follow me there, whatever. It's Mountain Moto 303 is my tag on, on Instagram and on Twitter. I'm not very active on Twitter. I really don't see the point in Twitter. But Instagram's cool, and I'm on there a lot. Um, I don't post a lot, but I'm there a lot. Um, but I thought these might look kind of cool, but again, they're still the binnacle and I got to kind of find a way to adapt them. So I wasn't really psyched about them. So then enter New Rage Cycles. Um, brand new company. Most of you guys probably haven't heard of them. I hadn't until my buddy Kishardio uh, installed their tail tidy and front lights on his KTM SDR but New Rage Cycles. Check them out. Uh, link will be down in the description or, yeah, right right across here. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a link down there. And I'm also gonna have a promo code from them because this is my first semi-sponsored part from, uh, from a manufacturer, but look at these things. They're, they're just incredible. Hold on, let me step up here. So look at this. These are all LEDs and it's a full wrap. I just can't wait to get these put on. These will go on uh, just like that. I think it's gonna look so cool. But let's get to it. Looking at their instructions, their instruction sheet is a whopping like five instructions or something like that. It's really simple. And really all you're gonna need is, uh, where's my tools? All you're going to need to complete this is a four millimeter Allen key, pretty common on this bike at least, and a really small, like a number zero, I think. Yeah, this is a number zero Phillips head. So that should be all we need and it should be a really quick thing. Let's get to it. Now I'm going to do this a little bit out of order. I'm going to take apart the blinkers first. They, in the instructions, they actually say to pull this off pull out this four millimeter first. I'm gonna take these apart and undo the wiring first. So pull out that little number zero, pull off the lens, get the wire out, and you got two wires in here. You got a dark blue and a sky blue. We need those off, and there goes the light.
remove the four millimeter, feed the wires back through. This is why I figured doing this, uh, doing this second would make it a little bit easier. Let's see if we can get this out. Just like that, that one's gone. New Rage actually includes some heat shrink tubing. The rest of it, um, or for the, the entire thing. So I'm just gonna do some shrink, heat shrink over this, which then of course adds a lighter as well. So we got those two together. And then we'll get a lighter. Shrink that down and seal that over that. That should be good to go and there's the blinker. So the blinkers are, you want the, uh, this flange part to be pointing down. That's how it looks like it fits the best. We'll tuck that back. Let's see if we gotta zip tie it or something like that. Oh yeah, so I'm stepping up to a number one Phillips. Part of their instructions is actually to disassemble these blinkers. So you pull the bracket off and mount the bracket and then screw the lights back together. So there's the lighting assembly. You can see the LED wrapping around. At that finish for diffusion, just on a piece of acrylic. Snug that down, see if we can route the wiring. And just like that. Screw it back together and then we'll test. Man, that looks clean though. All right, grab the key, see what these look like. Pretty cool. And for reference, here are the factory ones. Pretty standard. And the new hotness. Oh yeah. Let's repeat that process on the other side and we're good to go. Cleaning up the wiring is really hard for me to film. Oh wait, hold on. Let's see. Does this help? Oh yeah, a little bit. So there's the wires coming out. So what I did was I just pulled it out and made it flat. And then New Rage includes some little zip ties. So I'm just gonna make these into a little bundle. Trim off the excess and tuck it up in there. I'm just gonna tuck it up here inside the fairing. Try to get it to latch on something. There we go. That should be good to go. Nice and clean. Done. All right guys, so I hope you kept up with that. That was a pretty simple installation. If I do say so myself, that, was, that one was not bad. That's like a two out of 10, super simple. Thanks again to New Rage Cycles. If you guys are interested in any kind of uh, updating the look of your bike, they've got Ducati, they've got M MV Agusta, they've got Triumph, they've got Suzuki, they got Yamaha, they got KTM, they got Aprilia. They're coming out with new lines all the time. So, um, actually, like 
three weeks ago, they didn't have these. These beautiful things were not on their website, but I've been watching them because I know they put out just amazing looking blinkers and I'm, it's kind of what I wanted to do. So I was hoping they were going to come out with something for the Tuono and they did. So keep an eye on them. There'll be a link down below for a discount code or it'll be along, flashing along the bottom of the screen. Um, give them a look and if you guys want your Tuono to look like this, you gotta shout, you gotta shout at them. Tell them Mountain Moto sent you. Use my little promo code and uh, we will see you guys out in the canyons. Keep that shiny side up and I love each and every one of you guys. Peace. She's getting there. <laughs>